And welcome to another edition of Talkline. I'm Zev Brenner coming to you from the 25th annual Kosher Fest, a celebration of kosher foods from around the world held in the Meadowlands. We'll be right back with our very special broadcast, the finest kosher products worldwide after these messages. If you have diabetes and love food, pay attention to this free offer. Hi, I'm Nicole Johnson, Miss America 1999. I've had diabetes since 1993, and I hate boring food. Well, I got these three free cookbooks with fantastic tasting recipes for people with diabetes. If you have diabetes and have Medicare, you can get these cookbooks free. Call now to qualify for not one, not two, but three free cookbooks. Call 1-800-753-6314. You'll love this rich chocolate cake, oven fried chicken, and nachos. You'll also get this free meal planning guide and diabetes magazine. So call now for your free Better Care Kit with three free cookbooks. To qualify, call 1-800-753-6314. That's 1-800-753-6314. An important alert for people using the drug Avandia. The diabetes drug Avandia has been linked to serious heart-related injury and even death. If you or a loved one used Avandia and suffered a heart attack, heart failure, stroke, or heart-related death, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 1-800-460-5950. Recent congressional reports and FDA studies have found an increased risk of heart attacks and heart failure in patients using the drug Avandia. Time to file a claim is limited. Call 1-800-460-5950. Are you stressed over credit cards and other debts? Maybe through no fault of your own? Imagine how it would feel to have that weight lifted right off your shoulders. Well, here's some good news from America's trusted name in debt relief. Care One providers have already helped over four and a half million people in debt, and we can help you today. Just call this toll-free number to speak with a friendly representative, and in just minutes, you'll get your free debt relief analysis. Just call the toll-free number today. Israel Walben, he's the president and founder of Lusorek Wines, great winery. We had him on our radio, now I get to feature both on radio and on TV. Tell us about it. how did you found the company? We started out in 2011, we bought the winery out in Moldova, and uh, we started out with nine lines, nine wines, and Baruch Hashem, we're up to 14 wines, and before Pesach, we're going to have 17 wines. Great quality wines, well, very well-priced wines, and uh, we're out there. How'd you end up in Moldova, of all the countries, how'd you end up there? Well, it's funny, my father is... Uh, from Romania, which is not right next to Moldova, and he does a lot of business dealings out there in Romania, and he got shot to the winery out of Moldova. So, that's how's, your, how's your products faring? How's it doing? Very good. Very good. Baruch Hashem. Very good. Terrific. Continued success. Thank you. Amas Cones, Pizza Cone. Whoever heard of Pizza Cones? Well, they're a brand new item making waves here at Kosher Fest. I'm my right is Shimon Murdersky. He is in charge of IT for the company. On my left is Joel Poznanski, Vice President of Mama's Cones. And on my extreme left, Jay Fischel, Director of Sales. Pizza Cone, who came up with this idea? Well, actually, Pizza Cones have been around for a while. We decided to make a pizza cone that we could bring to the retail market. It's going to be in the frozen food section of the supermarket four packed in a box with a convenient ovenable stand that will fit into your oven 20 minutes at 425 degrees you have a delicious nutritious treat for the children comes in three variations everything is all natural low calorie and i think it's a home run let's see how we do how do you do with the show we did terrific on the show everybody came this was the hottest stand on the mar in the entire show we had lines we people were grabbing them faster than we could make them how you how, where are you distributed we are starting with we started actually in the summer we sold tens of thousands of pieces for camps for schools they were very happy with the product and now we're starting distribution with masbia this is dependable food company they're going to have the holovis royal brand and we're going to have the ou brand on the mama's cones four piece in a pack with four ovenable stands in the, in the freezer section, and also also industrial pack. Wonderful. Mama, Mama Cohen, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. We'll ask you to be the judge if you would please try one. I would definitely will. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. 
I believe we stop in every year telling desserts at Kosher Fest. And on my right, the two Weiss brothers is uh, Benjamin Weiss on my right, Martin on my left, and we have Mr. Sosan. Mendo Sosan, he is the chocolatier. And they've added a lot of new dimensions to the company this year. So, gentlemen, thank you for joining us again. Tell us what's new at Elegant Desserts. Well, we're very excited about our new chocolate line that our chocolatier is uh, produced for us, a French, pa a French and uh, pastry chocolate chocolatier, and we're proud of our new line. And it's also going to be for Passover, and um, you you can buy it now on our new website on 1-800-dessert.com. You must be excited too, right? You're working for a while on this project. Yeah. So well, you see, right now, our project is right now is to is to sell caterers as much as possible. So in the beginning, they were able to buy frozen desserts, frozen cakes. Now we have a full line of gelatos, pastries, and now a new addition is the chocolates. Now all year round and Passover, Mendel is the chocolatier. We're coming up with 12 to 15, 20 new styles, logs, anything you can imagine, and any flavor. And you can buy it in the stores, right? You can buy it in stores, but the best thing is to call us direct. We will ship it direct. We can make packaging boxes for gifts, for Hanukkah, for Purim, for Purim Pesach, Passover, Passover as well. And any other special guy, having a wedding, they should call you, right? They have a wedding? Absolutely. They call us at 718-388-1323, and the website, which is active very shortly, will be 1-800-desserts.com. Mendel, the chocolatier, right? Yes, yes. What does a chocolatier do? He's looking to... You have to eat the chocolate or... <laughs> We try always to make uh, the, be the better product as possible to make happy the people that are going to taste it. This is our uh, task every day to make it the best, always. Are you from France? Yes, I am from France. Uh, they're, they're, they're the place where the cho they know about chocolates in France, right? Yes, yes. And my family business in France, they are chocolatier under the name Golden Delis. And we're starting now under the name Dodeli with Elegant Desserts to make a, a brand name also in America. Wonderful. So look for elegant desserts, chocolatiers, other desserts. And Passover. Pass and year-round. We can't just forget year-round, right? right. You should have me working for you. <laughs> Good to see you, gentlemen. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> just Yishai Mazor, the company called Natural King. They make omega-3 products. So tell us about your company. We're selling uh, kosher vitamin gummies that are made from fish gelatin, that everything is natural, no artificial color, no preservatives. It tastes very good. Kids loves it, and it's good prices. And um, How many flavors does it come in? How many flavors? They have one flavor, but it has different, like multivitamin, that it's different flavor, omega-3 that is made from omega free like fish, uh, fish, like omega fish oil, yeah. fish oil and all that stuff. Collagen. That's the latest, right? Everybody wants omega three, right? And right, and collagen is more for like the ladies that are good for the skin, hair, and nails. That it tastes also like a little bit of the Coca Cola, but it's a good flavor. How old is the company? We're already four years in the market. We have in Walgreens stores that. Uh, That's pretty good. So you know all Walgreens stores across the country. Yeah. So if somebody's looking for us, you could buy it also online. They ship to your house. It's very easy today to find. Where can person. I find you online? At naturalkingdom.net. It's our, and also on Walgreens uh, website and um, drugstores also. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. We're happy to be here. Usher Gershberg is our guest. He is, we have him every year, De La Rosa. And they make very Hooray. quality, great products, grapeseed oil, many other products as well. Organic, organic wines. wine and organic grape juice and organic love, which means uh. real one from the heart. Rahmana Liba Bai. The Ebster wants the heart. You can have long tails, you can have a long nose, you can look like Moshe Rabbeinu. <laughs> if the heart is not open, it's toignish. Toignish means what? You know. It's no good. But what is good is De La Rosa. Tell us, how'd you come up with the name De La Rosa? You didn't call Chaim yeah. Young. Why De La Rosa? De La Rosa, there was a big tzaddik. He's still, of course. He a righteous passed, man. Yeah. Righteous man in Morocco. And the king of Morocco, believe it or not, who is basically probably Chosid Umus Ha'olam even believed in him and a lot of Muslims go to his graveyard to graveside to ask for a blessing. David De La Rosa I said, well, the Muslims are fanatics and they, if they believe that it's worth it, it must be worth it because they, whatever they, they have oils, they have uh, sneers and they have enemies so they must be the right thing. So how's De La Rosa doing? The De La Rosa is growing so big, the heaven seems to be too low for it. <laughs> <laughs> and your latest is the organic grape juice, right? The, gra the organic grape juice is not of this world. This morning, a bottle actually came through the ceiling into my, and, uh, I, and here it is. 
and wow. it's written. It says wow. wow on the bottle. And why is it written wow? Why do you say wow? Because the Yemenites are the only people, Jews in the world who know how to pronounce Leshon HaKodesh. And it's not Hebrew. And this Vav, you see this Vav, they call it, they don't call it Vav, they call it Wow. So here is a Wow. So, it says wow on the label because that's what people say when they try it. Wow, that's the right answer, right? So, you see? So, if Bor Hashem Hasidu Umus Oilam, that letter wow is they pronounce like a Yemenite. So, the first thing when Mashiach will come, he will go to the Yemenite to teach us the wow. Here it is. Della Rosa, wow. Thank you, Richard Gershberg, for gracing us again. Good to see you every year. Zep. Part of my kosher fest experience is speaking to Rabbi Usher. Without me. And I also miss Rabbi Usher's late night phone calls on the radio program. We has a very interesting remarks always to make to our guests. And people are very, very, they, you know, they call me and say, why don't you call anymore? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'll say no instead of wow. Okay, l'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim. This is the grape juice in Amen. You tell me about it, really. Delicious. Delicious. Tremendous wow. Zev. Wow, wow, you see, <laughs> see? you said it right. Wow. Zev, Thank you. I really want to express my gratitude to Akadish Bohu and to your parents who've agreed to bring you into this world. And thank you for our friendship and look forward. L'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim. Zev, and what about the film? You're going to make the film with me. We'll, film. we'll have an usher back for the film that he's making about the great saint, the Gerrit Sedek of Vilna. Uh, That'll be upcoming. Ben, uh, Avram Avram ben Avram. Ben Avram. Avram. We are making a film, and Zev is helping me. L'chaim. We're standing in the Culinary Depot, but what a great name for Kosher Fest, Culinary Depot. On my right is Michael Lichter. He's the CEO of the company. On my left is Sholem Potesh, who is the president of Culinary Depot. Right. And his son-in-law is on his left as well. Uh, that's Dovey. So, uh, and I believe you're both of your son-in-laws. Yeah. It's all relative. You're nice to see you it's keep a, a family. Nice, nice family business with a lot of other people as well. So tell us about Colony Depot. Uh, you're here at the show every year. Yeah, we had the show the last couple of years, and we've grown from a small booth to a larger booth. And you know, we're one of the leaders in the uh, kosher industry of anybody that needs a kitchen or any type of facility in the commercial market. You know, we can facilitate from the concept of the design and till the end, till the final, when the first uh, first time you make a kugel or a chont. <laughs> You know, from the beginning till the end. I see you serving kugel here today, too, by the way. Is that made in a Culinary Depot product? It's, uh, it's one of my recipes. Before I started this uh, business, I was a chef in this industry for 15, 20 years. And, uh, you know, the kids came into the business, and they're, they're doing a wonderful job. Uh, Michael is CEO, and uh, Dovi is running the store, and... Uh, and everybody else is involved. We have tremendous salesmen here. Ellie, Ellie Goldring runs our store in Lakewood. I don't know if you want to get him in there. Uh, you know. well, Christ, but you, yeah. got, you got a lot of staff here today, yeah, which, is, which is great. That, which yeah, is great it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great... Uh, yeah, we enjoy that part, too. You know, there's a lot of people uh, get Parnosa from this, and it's, uh, it's good for the community and in general. You know, in the kosher market, it was it was quiet 20 years ago. Uh, Zev, you should remember that. I remember. I mean, they started 25 years. There's a chain. It's you growing. Know, you know, what was the restaurant? Moshe P. King's uh, 25 years ago. Today we have uh, 150 restaurants just in the Manhattan. Glad kosher. And it's, uh, all different kinds of cuisine. And uh, supermarkets, more availabilities. Everybody sees all these. You know, we just finished that big supermarket. We did the whole job from... Which from, one? In Muncie? Or? In Muncie. And... Uh, What's it called again? The Evergreen. Evergreen. And we finished Moishas and Flappish. You know, we're involved in anything kosher that has to do with cooking and food. We try to be a leader out so there. So let me ask you, you've been a chef. Now, you're, you sell the items where they can make it. Do you also make the recipes or teach them the recipes to use it properly? Yes, definitely. You That's do. one of the things that we okay. offer to our customers. If they want help with recipes, they have issues with menus. Yeah, you know, we, we do that. That's what we do. That's our specialty. That's why they come to us. Another reason. Yeah. Michael, so how do you find it uh, for being here at the show and seeing a lot of your consumers, your customers, and I guess new ones too, right? Yep. There's a lot of uh, old timers, a lot of new faces, and really enjoy just the, giving people good service, good prices, and the best thing is the knowledge. Take my father-in-law's foundation of of, of uh, edge, getting the right equipment. You know, people's biggest challenge is they buy the wrong equipment for the wrong application. 
Being a chef and a kosher chef, every kosher industry should know, every kosher facility should know, you want the right equipment with the, the right price, you come to Culinary Depot, it's going to work for you. Can you sell across the country? Yeah, all over, nationwide. Like you said, there's so much out there that people are not educated, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's our main goal in the kosher industry, to get everybody to know there are machines here that don't what kinds of machines are we talking? What are you selling? A convection oven. You know, you can buy the 20 year old uh, convection oven for a few thousand dollars, but if you spend a little bit more and get something that'll last you three times the amount and it'll do so much more, there's so much out there that people don't know. The Shabbos mode, we came out with Shabbos modes. There's so many things that we brought into this industry. We're just trying to get the name out there to just call us and we'll advise you. There's so much where you can save money and labor, all that stuff. We're here to serve and just tell you how to get it. That's our main goal. Now you sell for businesses, but since you have the shop as well, do you have any division that also sells to consumers? I know some ladies that cook for like 50 people or more uh, for shop. You know what? That's already comes challenging because you don't, it's that in between commercial and residential. We'll, we we'll do, advise them, we we'll help them. We have showrooms in Muncie and in Lakewood and more coming soon that's perfect for the Rebitson, you know? We have all the right stuff that you won't find in any other place in the regular residential store. Come into our store. We have we have all the solutions. He's a good salesman. I'm, I'm ready to buy. I'm ready to buy, but but only on the condition it comes with kugel in the oven too. Yeah, for sure. We, you filter fish, kugel, chunked, you know, the works. If you want to get more information, how can they do so? Call us anytime, 888-845-8200. Visit us at culinarydepotinc.com. Like we said, good service, good prices. And best service, we have uh, we have locations all over in uh, Muncie, Lakewood, Miami. We're coming to California and Chicago soon. Look out for us, guys. But wherever you are, we have free delivery nationwide. Please call us, and you'll be very happy. One of the things we take pride in over the years is I, I remember 10 years ago, every yeshiva would buy a used oven. Every, every they, And they wouldn't have the right equipment. And, getting the, and the children wouldn't be getting the quality on the food because... What you can make in new equipment, you're not going to get the same product, not nutritional-wise and not financial-wise in and every which way. the time to make it, so it's really a win-win. So I'd say efficiency of scale, economics of scale. Yeah. When I went to Yeshiva, we didn't have scrambled eggs for breakfast. I don't want to say how it looked at scrambled eggs. We didn't have, when we had salad, it was mashed up vegetables. Now the Yeshiva bought nice, good braising pans, spent a lot of money. We work with the Yeshivas. We work with them with financing and special deals. We help with grants, with rebates, anything they need. We work with the customers. We really feel partnered. And it's one big family, our customers, just like our employees. And we help them work for it, and they should be better of service to them, to themselves and to, the, to their customers. I think we're going to have, well, you said you're coming to our radio show, so bring yeah, the whole staff. Right. Yeah, How yeah, about that's, that? That's exciting. I, I, try, you know, I listen to you pretty often over there on uh, Matzah Shabbos, and you know, when I have some time, it's not too often, but... Definitely exciting well, I show. I hope you listen to the night that you're going to be on the air with us. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Let us know, and uh, we'll definitely put it on, you know? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Keep up thank the good so work. Much. Keep thank up. You. We'll see you on the Their radio. slogan is a potato kugel in every oven that they sell. That's it. Culinary Depot. Sales. Uh, Ellie Goldring is salesman in Lakewood store. I just have one more minute to introduce. We brought a, in educating and building a sales team. We brought in on board our new sales manager, Carla Barrera. He just joined us recently, just three short months ago. Say your name and what you do. Sure, Carla Barrera, sales manager for uh, all the all the salespeople up and down the East Coast as well as uh, eventually West Coast. We're going to be right back with our very special broadcast, originating from the 25th annual Kosher Fest. After these messages. This is the Jewish Basketball Hall of Fame. The most complete action-filled history ever of the legendary Jewish basketball players of the 20th century. This video library is comprised of rare vintage action footage of every player. Here are the Jewish stars and superstars of basketball in all their glory, in their prime, all together for the first time anywhere. There has never been anything like this before. The Jewish Basketball Hall of Fame brings to life an elite Jewish sports tradition filled with Jewish pride.
Here they are, the Jewish basketball stars and superstars who, until now, have only lived in nostalgic memory. I've been making credit card payments for years, but the balance never seems to go down. Well, no matter how high your debts are, at Jordan McKenna, we're not here to judge you. We're here to help you. We'll match you with a reputable law firm who will negotiate and reduce your credit card balances. Stop those harassing collection calls. They'll even design an affordable monthly payment plan that fits your budget. You could save thousands of dollars. Call Jordan McKenna right now for a no-obligation consultation. It's that easy. Call today, 888-685-1433. Welcome back to the program. I'm Zev Brenner coming to you from the 25th annual Kosher Fest, a celebration of kosher foods in the Meadowlands. You see everyone here at Kosher Fest. Zella Goldstein is the owner of Kosher World in Far Rockaway. I had the privilege of shopping there the other week, and good to see you. Good to see you, too. By the way, I have to compliment you because I know Kosher World is going through some transformations. You have new manager, new departments that are there, but you're... You don't realize, but service is the key. Your, your prices are great, but the service. You see, when I go shopping and I take it with me to Manhattan, is that I like them to box it up. Usually, box. They always mix up the you know the coal. With I always tell them, not only did they keep the coal, but they kept the coal stuff separately. The the vegetables separate. They kept it. the other side. It was great. It came in it was a machayu because usually I have this always gets mixed up. So I got to compliment you there. But Thank I know major so changes in the kosher world, right? Thank you. That's a, it's a pleasure to hear this. It's a pleasure that we are on the way up and we're trying to give the service. And, uh, and thank you for the opportunity, you know, to give us the uh, the service and uh, and pricing and everything. So like this, we can go. You can go can do, more. Now, do more. Now you're you're based in Far You service the Queens area, the the five towns there, five the Long towns, Beach, Atlantic yes, uh, Beach, Oceanside right. area, Oceanside and uh, Bayswater mainly in Far Rockaway, and the five towns. What's the exact address? It's 1913 Cornega Avenue, in Far Rockaway, in the main street. And Cornega is right next to Mott Avenue. Everybody knows that it's right next to Beach Nine. We're we'll all, we're we'll all the all the Yiddish. And might add, you're also expanding your takeout department, going through major yes, people yes. going to come in. They'll be not only are you become yes, right. more service oriented, but also there'll be new departments. Yeah. So. Yes, yes. And I wish people will come in. I'm doing a free state free tasting. Um, I think tomorrow or next week I set it up, and I'm so sure you know, people check will on because this is going to air various times. So you're going to have free coming. There'll be frequent free tastings at. Yes, the, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Good. Thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to work with you. Likewise. And if you haven't yeah. been there, Kosher World Supermarket, Far Rockaway, New York, go there and you'll see the new, co we should change to the new Kosher because there's a lot of new changes yes. taking place. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> Isaac Waxhaw from Zman Magazine was just on our radio show and we're good to have him back. Zman Magazine, almost five years old, a monthly, very lively, thought provocative publication. Thank you for joining us again. Sure. Thank you. Tell us about Zman, which means time. I guess it's the Jewish equivalent to Time Magazine, or you look at it differently? It is a bit different. It's not the equivalent because Time Magazine is more known to be for current events, uh, news events. Uh, Zman is actually to the contrary. We pick up any story that's ever happened. If we have enough research, if it's interesting to the reader, if we find enough good quality pictures of it, we do the research and we publish it. That's what we do, in-depth coverage of any type of interesting story that ever happened. What's interesting, a lot of the Jewish publications only cover Jewish stories. Mom Magazine covers Jewish stories, but then anything that's interesting, right? Exactly. I mean, we had Tony Mendez on our cover. We had a lot of different stories that n not necessarily related to Judaism, or if some, some are, some are not. But so you don't have to be Jewish to be in Zman Magazine. So how do, how do you decide what goes into the publication? If it's an interesting story, and if it's... Uh, if it's uh, modest enough to be written in a Jewish magazine, it'll make the magazine. Uh, it has, there's, there's, there's very simple rules. It has to be fascinating, it has to be a good read, it has to be interesting, it has to keep the reader entertained. If it entertains the reader, it goes into the magazine. Wonderful, and where can people get Zman Magazine this month, and how can they get it? It's distributed in almost every Jewish newsstand, uh, but you can also get it on subscription at www.zamanmagazine.com. Isaac, thank you for joining us. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just Dustin Schachter is a Wheeler dealer. His company is called Ortmeyer. And as he proudly pointed out, he's at Kosher Fest. It's one of the few things that you're not allowed to eat because of the sand truck. So good to have you. There's actually no Hexer on these items. Not kosher supervised, but you, but you give your own personal supervision, right? Milchix and Fleischix. So tell us, how'd you end up at the Kosher Food Show? I have a lot of customers here and a lot of 
show traffic who are not yet my customers. Got a lot of leads, and we look forward to a lot of good business. It, so, took, yep. it took 25 years of this show till I finally took a booth. <laughs> and I'm very happy that I'm here. You got to see a lot of your customers, and yes, new ones. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. And, and some good and friends as well. I look forward to seeing, and how do people get a hold of your product? Do they do online? Is there? Yeah, online at the, at the office, and we ship. Give us the online address. www.ortmayer.com, O-R-T-M-A-Y-E-R. -E don't need his product, but you can utilize it. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Joanne Shadborn is Director of Marketing for Aaron's Best. They make a lot of products. Good to have you back. Thank you so much. It's great to see you here. Thank you. We're so... You introduced some new stuff at Kosher Fest. We've, we're very, very pleased to have introduced our new line of PAR products. Uh, we're debuting in the stores, of course, in February of next year. But we did our test taste testing here at Kosher Fest and talked with hundreds and hundreds of people about the taste of our, particularly the new Franks. So we're very, very excited. What makes your Franks different? Frankly speaking, what makes it different than other Franks out there? Well, in this particular case, this is the health balance line. These products are nitrate free. They're lower in sodium, low in fat. 50% less fat than our typical Franks from the line. This is a new line of product for the consumer and in answer to the demand for the, from the consumer to give them something that they can serve the kids without compromise. So we've removed the chemicals and additives and we're very excited to put this product in the store in February next Everybody year. Everybody wants to eat healthy these days, so you're adding to that health craze which is permeating America. And of course, the kosher market is no yes. different than that. Yes. What is your best selling item? Our best-selling item in terms of the... the, hey, all, the com all the products that your company makes. I would say it's the Franks. Definitely speaking, the classic Franks. They've been around for 30 years, and we're very, almost 30 years, and we're very proud to have them in most of all the kosher kitchens throughout America. What else does your company make? Our company provides poultry products. We're very, very proud of the poultry products. Our, our vegetarian-fed golden chickens, under particularly the Aaron's brand. We have deli and, of course, beef products. Uh, some of Iowa's best, we buy from only small local farms. It's processed in our own plant under strict rabbinical certification. So uh, we're, we're providing many, many different products. And now, fish. It's very exciting. Fish and beef and chicken and franks. So what more can you want? Aaron's best, right? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. We're speaking more to Mordechai Wurzberger, the controller of Greens. And I remember Greens as celebrating 30 years. When we first started on the radio, Greens was one of our first sponsors. And as Mr. Ackman always says, one of the slogans that people loved and remembered, there are three things that are famous for New York for. One, of course, is the Empire State Building was one of them. The other one was Mordechai Ben David and Abram Fried. And number three, Green's Caucus Cake. They've been around for 30 years and they've grown, but you've grown beyond Green's Caucus Cake, right? Uh, yes, we have. We have dairy products. We have all sorts of cakes. We have cream cakes, fancy cakes, slices, fruit tarts, all different types. And pizza too, right? And pizza too, of course. What is the number one selling item for Green's company? That's probably still the babka and the ragalach. But again, the babka comes in different shapes and sizes and flavors. And we're experimenting with new flavors as well. And then we have the ragalach. Again, same thing, different types, types and shapes and sizes. How'd you end up with a pizza? Ah, well, we started with the pizza. Started out in the pizza shop, and they were baking in the bake in the basement. In Williamsburg, New York, correct? In Williamsburg, a Green's Pizza Shop, and eventually the bakery just outgrew the pizza shop and launched on its own. You still have the store in Williamsburg? And yes, of course, we still do. What other new items are you thinking about bringing out to the marketplace? Hmm. Well, when you'll find it on the shelves, you'll know about it. Give it a surprise, but the, don't forget also the Kokish cake. And did I pronounce it correctly? I know we had a content. We're going to do a content. How do, you, how do you pronounce it correctly, right? Which dialect? For those that have never experienced Green's Kokish cake, how would you best describe it? Oh, well, if you're of American persuasion, it's probably babka. But if you're of the Hungarian persuasion, then you would say it's Kokish cake. It's Heimische Kokish cake. No matter how you pronounce it, it's worth eating. Thank you. Many unique products at Kosher Fest, and of course, what's a kosher food without baby food, right? First choice is the name of the company. On my right is Joel Gross. On my left is Jacob Zajac. And um, thank you. How, tell us about your product. Tell us your first choice. We, when I had my first baby, I went to the grocery store, and I saw that you could buy kosher salt, kosher water, kosher seltzer, but you couldn't buy kosher baby food. So we went and created this company. We have 11 fruit and vegetable items now. We have three kosher for Passover fruit and vegetable, and now we came out with a completely new line, which has five chicken and turkey items, 
three dinners and two straight ones. You can see the product right in back of you. Here. And they taste great, they look great, and they're just, you know, they're beautiful products. So, so it's a joint effort? Yes, we do. We did it together. Now, Pesach is just the biggest challenge. You mentioned you have three. Any plans to add more kosher for Passover? Definitely. Because I know there's a big market for that, too. Yeah, we're trying. We're going to work on the meats, but not for this year. We'll try to do it for next year. This year, we're definitely going to have three. We might throw in another one. If yes, it will be a good surprise. First choice. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Elon Kornblum, 10 years publishing great kosher restaurant guides. And every year, we find him at Kosher Fest. It's tradition. Good to have you back again. Thank you. Good to be here once again. Are there more or less uh, kosher restaurants this time around, this year? Um, probably more. You know, if anyone gets my newsletters, you'll probably see there's always openings. Uh, you know, it's amazing. Every week there's an, another restaurant opening. There's some, it's a cycle. There's always restaurants closing. Unfortunately, Estihana, Manhattan, Upper West Side, you know, closed last night, actually, after 10 years. Uh, but you have the Reserve Cut and you have La Brochette and so many different restaurants um, all over the country that's opening up. So it's a, it's a good time for restaurants. Obviously, the economy has picked up a little bit uh, and people are uh, looking to go out more. They're more educated. Uh, the palate is, is more educated for the consumer. So I think people are wanting more, a little bit diversity. Uh, and I think we're seeing that in the openings of restaurants. What kind of diversity? What is the most unique or exotic kosher restaurant you can think of? The most unique? Um, again, a lot of them are a lot of fusion restaurants, but you have uh, obviously Mexican, you have classic Italian and French. Um, I just came back from Buenos Aires in Argentina, so that was fantastic. You know, real South American authentic uh, steaks. And I'm disappointed that the only kosher restaurant in Costa Rica had closed. It was the Burger King. Oh, was it? Yeah. In fact, I went to in Argentina. It was a uh, kosher McDonald's, but Unfortunately, Costa Rica, you know, doesn't have too many, and now I guess lost that last one. Uh, but um, yeah, again, we're, we're traveling a lot. Uh, find some really cool places that are from around the country, around the world, and uh, it's a very exciting time to be in the in the restaurant industry. Great kosher resident. How often do you print it? Print once a year. In fact, uh, the next issue is coming out January 1st, the 2014 edition. Uh, this year, we're very excited to introduce, we have a new app on Android. It's available right now. So if anyone has an uh, Android phone, they can go, you know, can download the, our app. iPhone will be ready in about a month. Our Great Kosher Deals is a fantastic website. They can get discounts, uh, Great Kosher Weddings. Our newsletter is very popular. So. Obviously, we're very excited uh, to be a part of it and to be the leader uh, for all kosher restaurants. Elon Thang will join us once my again. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Be well. On my right, Moshe Parnas is the CEO of the company Natural and Tasty. On my left, Ushi Greenberg, who is the sales manager, and they won an award at Kosher Fest. So welcome back to the program. Tell us, for those that don't know, what Natural and Tasty is all about. Natural and Tasty mainly a distributor, the leader distributor of kosher specialty products. We are two brands, Goldbaum's products, that's mainly gluten-free and specialty. We won the award on flatbreads. You can't know it's gluten-free. It tastes much better than gluten-free. I want to show it to you. Look on the cracker. It's nice. It's made out of chickpea flour. Some people go go over and they taste it in the made Amazonos. It's Ashahakal. I'll go get, give the word for Oshi now. By the way, I tasted it before. It is wonderful. It's, it's very good and tasty. How is, it, how is it doing in the kosher marketplace? Zev, the question that you're asking, I have to change that question. It's not only in the kosher. We have over here buyers from all over the national market that stopped by and they said, Usually we request that buyers should ask for a product. With this product, we want to take it without the buyer's request because this product is an excellent, phenomenal product and we want to have it in our book and we want to promote it to our customers out there. As well as we talk about Goldbaum, which is mainly gluten-free, I would also like to introduce you to our product, which is uh, our second line, which is uh, Bacol. And we just launched into the kosher market our Bacol organic jam pops. It's organic lollipops, no artificial flavors, no color, no high fructose corn syrup. Yes, the moms could finally give to the kids a lollipop that is no high fructose corn syrup, no coloring, and no artificial flavors. Let the kids enjoy them. Wonderful. And Ushi says, let the kids enjoy them. Let the parents enjoy the kids at the Shabbos table. Let me finish up. We also I want to introduce my, the whole grain multi chip, uh, quinoa chip. You know quinoa, what high, high uh, protein it has? So it has all the nutritional from the quinoa. 
I'll finish up with one consumer walked by and asked, how come you only won an award on the flatbreads? Why didn't you win an award on that chip as well? Thank you very much, Jeff, for your time. There's always next year. You gotta give something to win next year, right? Don't want to win everything all in one year. But gentlemen, thank you. Oh, thank you for it for your support, Zev. We're gonna win next year again. And Mir Sashem, I'm sure you will. Zev, we will next year again, but the money are many more products that are coming out within this next year. So watch out for natural and tasty as you heard. Ooh, all local stores near you. With us once again, Menachem Lubinsky, the man behind Kosher Fest, 25 year celebration this year. He's an expert in marketing to kosher consumers, Jewish consumers, and also to general consumers. Lubicon, his company, of course, markets all different kinds of products. Good to have you back again. Delighted to be here. How is Kosher Fest going? Kosher Fest this year, the 25th anniversary, was absolutely amazing. There were 1,300 more people here from about 19 different states and countries. It, the dynamics, the buzz, the electricity was incredible. The number of new products, the, uh, the presentation, uh, the events, everything combined was, it was an incredible success. This especially here in Kosher is growing. Um, because it's a niche market and, and companies, when they're looking to increase their bottom line, Kosher is a very inexpensive way for them to do so. What are your plans for the 26th Kosher Fest? Well, the breaking news is that Kosher Fest uh, next year, 2014, is already sold out. Wow. Every, every booth for next year has already been taken, which is testimony to, to the success of this year. You need show. a bigger place then. Well, we, we, we could use a bigger place, but we're kind of like comfortable. We've made this the kosher building with all the hotel rooms that are in the neighborhood. So we'll squeeze like good Jews do. When they have to, they do, they squeeze. But the, um, where this is going is if there were about 500 new products this year, there's much, much more to come. Um, we, we had a chef's competition here today by three major restaurants in New York. And one of the chefs who is not Jewish, he says kosher is definitely going to be the trend in America in the coming years, not only amongst the people who observe kosher. Now, in kosher itself, we could say there's so many different kinds of product. What would you say is the fastest growing segment of the kosher consumer industry? There's no real one segment, but if I had to pick one, I would say it's the health conscious products, the products that are gluten free, the products that are more natural, organic. There's a tremendous demand for that. I think people are changing their habits slowly in terms of how they eat. But look, the things that are bad for you are still doing very well. How many products are certified kosher in the United States, would you say about? About 200,000 packaged goods and about 300,000 ingredient items. Um, kosher is, is become international. 90 how many billions of dollars are we talking about? The, uh, the packaged good industry is about $13 billion. The ingredient industry is about $18 billion. It's produced in 99 countries. You can't produce a product anywhere in the world, an ingredient product, and hope to sell it to the United States. Who's going to buy it? Coca-Cola won't buy it. Dana won't buy it. Kellogg's won't buy it. So, in effect, you're talking about the biggest success that Jews have had. They internationalize kosher. Yeah, because in other words, if you want to sell to a major company, your ingredient better be kosher, otherwise they can't take you because their product is kosher here and the biggest companies are certified kosher. Exactly, exactly. And so, you know, brands like the OU and some of the kosher agencies, they're probably the most widely known brands in the United States, including Boeing and Apple. Unbelievable. Menachem Lebensky, thank you for being with us. Thank you for putting kosher on the, more on the map and making it internationally. Well, I think you've been with us all 25 years. So. I, was at, I was just commenting. I was at the first kosher food show 25 so, so years ago. Tough goes to you as well. No, it's glad to be partnered with it. And Menachem, may you have a, many more years to, in spearheading this kosher thank drive. You. And thank you. Thank you. Yaakov Searle, the publisher, founder of Queen's Jewish Link, and it has an affiliate, of course, in New Jersey as well. So good to see you, Yaakov. Thank you. Thank you, Zev. Zev and I go way back. Long and time. A long time. And uh, we're proud that the Queen's Jewish Link is the only door-to-door -door paper, Jewish newspaper in Queens. And it's uh, we've been doing it for two years, and uh, Mitz Hashem, we're going to be going weekly shortly. And we have an online presence, and uh, many people are picking it up. And the, uh, the Jewish Link of Bergen County has also become very, very popular. And um, we have uh, great articles, great ads, and uh, we're, um, we're growing. And uh, 
together with uh, Zev Brenner and Talkline. I, lo I love to see the growth and that. People can, of course, should look you out online if they don't live in Queens, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. They can go to queensjewishlink.com or they can go to Jewish Link of Bergen County and they can find us online. They have the rates, the schedules. Everything is there. You can read the articles. You can get, uh, when, we go weekly, when we go weekly and online, we're going to be having daily news from Queens and New Jersey and international news in it. You know, it's just a great site, great, great newspaper, and um, it's great to be here with you, Zev. Good, good to link in together. <laughs> okay, thanks, Zev. We're speaking with Les Erber, the COO, Chief Operating Officer of a company called Nugent. New, what's it all about? Nugent is a nutritional supplement that's a shake that's comparable to, if I think better than Ensure, it's Chol of Yisroel. It's also the only product on the market that will be kosher le Pesach. And it's something that you can, for an energy pickup or a substitute for a meal, you could take the, one of the two flavors that we have, vanilla or chocolate, and it's only 243 calories, so it's ideal for dieting. It's fairly new. Do you have any idea how it's doing in the marketplace overall? It will be in the market. It's a new product that's coming in from Australia. It was developed in Australia, and it's coming in after the first of the year. So it will be distributed throughout the United States. So people should look for Nougat. Are you going to have more flavors too as time goes on? We will be adding flavors, yes. We have uh, cappuccino, we'll have strawberry, we'll have different flavors, and we'll also have additional flavors for Pesach. Right now we only have chocolate. So people should look for Nougat, available, going to be at all stores everywhere? All stores, supermarkets. Kosher and non-kosher? Kosher and non-kosher, non drug stores, on the shelf competing with uh, Insure. Exciting. And Chol Yisrael. And Chol Yisrael. Where's the beef, you ask? Well, I think we're standing right in front of it. This is Avi Levy. He's a chef. He's a chef rabbi, bottle washer for a company called Avi's Kosher Kitchen. It's an internet TV show as well as he sells his products on the internet. And he's sponsored by a company called Cold Foods, Organic Foods, and Gidon is with us right now. So welcome both of you to our program. Thank, Thank you for joining us. So Thanks. tell us about your kitchen. My kitchen? My kitchen, 100%. Is it kosher? Of course yeah. it's kosher. You're under your self-supervision? or <laughs> My self-supervision for right now. But we're, we're doing online kosher cooking videos. Nice, great, innovative recipes, but we're having a lot of fun with it. You know, we're doing all sorts of stuff. Cosmopolitans, we're doing uh, great meat from Cold Foods. We're doing uh, Sephardic recipes, Ashkenazi recipes, but they're all, they're all spiced up to be a little bit different, a little bit offbeat. We call it the no-cookle zone. So tell us about Cold Foods. Uh, well, we love working with, with Avi. Uh, we sell grass-fed and pastured beef, lamb, and poultry. Uh, we're the only ones in the kosher market who sell domestic uh, grass-fed beef. And the beef, I mean, it's amazing. I hope it shows on the camera. But our beef is soft and fantastic. It's tender. Uh, we're the only ones there. And we're working out of Maryland right now and selling right to everybody, everybody's doorstep through our website. Are you sold in the stores at all? We sell here and there from some stores. We're trying to sell more from stores in the New York area. If you want to get more information, how can they do so? www.colfoods.com. How do you spell Cold Foods? That's K-O-L-Foods.com. In case you didn't notice. And if people want to enter your kosher kitchen and see your TV show online and get more information, you're, you sell products around the country too? Uh, I'm not really selling any products right now. We're just promoting the idea of great kosher recipes that are great for anybody's kitchen. If, obviously, if you're kosher, but even if you're not. Uh, it's obviouskosherkitchen.com on YouTube uh, and on Facebook. Just look for Obvious Kosher Kitchen. You'll find me. We're going to be right back with our very special broadcast originating from Kosher Fest in New Jersey right after the following messages. Kosher Expeditions operates year-round tours with delicious glott kosher cuisine cooked fresh on site to over 30 of the world's most exotic destinations. Relax at our seven-year running Passover holiday adventure at our Kosher La Pesach luxury beachside resort in Costa Rica. Breathtaking ocean views, exotic wildlife, inspiring lectures, children's programming, and exciting Costa Rican adventure tours during Cholomoid. Come tour with the most established kosher tour operator since 1994. Call Kosher Expeditions at 877-JT-Kosher, kosherexpeditions.com. The source for exciting worldwide kosher adventure. Holly's discovered a secret that could help thousands of other catheter users. For years, I never realized how different catheter supplies really were. Liberator contacted my doctor and made arrangements for me to try catheters that were easier to use, much more comfortable, all for free. And they helped me qualify for a new sterile catheter every time I needed one, no more reusing. The minute you make the phone call, you're going to see the difference. Call 1-800-627-2821. 
I've been on a lot of TV shows, but one of my favorites is Zev Brenner on Talkline. I love this show. I love this network. I love talking about my books, my activities with Zev Brenner. Good questions, good listeners, always get a good response. Welcome back to the program. I'm Zev Brenner coming to you from the 25th Annual Kosher Fest, a celebration of kosher foods in the Meadowlands. On my right is Brian Pearl. On my left is Chaim Pearl. Their company is Pearl's, Pearl's Geschmack. They make salami and hot dogs. Good to see both of you. Tell us about uh, what so Geschmack, which means delicious and more than delicious, special delicious. Um, it's Geschmack because the taste is really good. And the last What makes your hot dog different than other hot dogs? There's, uh, there's no fillers. It's pure beef. And the last two days we've been at the show, and the people are really loving it. And we've been in Canada for a long time, but we're, we'll be in the States uh, in about four to six weeks. That's a show. Whose idea was the Geschmack company? It was a joint venture between my brother and I. And I may add that the product is gluten-free. No byproducts, no MSG, no fillers, as my brother mentioned. Perfect. And how's it doing so far in the United States? Uh, we haven't launched in the United States. We're in Canada. It's doing well in Canada. We're here at the show this year to launch it in the States. You have a lot of geschmack. You had a lot of geschmack to the United States hot dog scene. Yes, the response has been great here. Uh, and um, well, once we start in the States in, a few, in about four weeks, I'm sure people will enjoy it. People look for it for geschmack. Pearl's geschmack. Irvin Braun is the president of Real Kosher, and uh, they have a wonderful lot of products. So good to have you. What's Real Kosher as opposed to fake kosher? <laughs> it's real meat with great flavor and taste. Kosher hot dog is considered to be one of the big things in this country, so how does your hot dog rate? Uh, we think it rates pretty number, close to number one. And how many different kinds do you make? We make a large variety of hot dogs, but we also make a complete line of sausage, which is now the new trend in America for kosher. Is there any particular kind of sausage that's doing very well in the kosher marketplace? The naturally, the sweet sausage, is the most widely used sausage in America, and it holds true for the kosher line as well. What is the season that people eat the most hot dog? Is it the summer season? Definitely the summer, with the picnics in the ballparks and Lock Bomber and everything else through. Real kosher prize available throughout the United States? Yes, it is. Wonderful, and you were planning on expanding with new products as well? We expand with new products as well as we make private label for other companies. So if you want the real thing, come to Real Kosher. David Leeson is the founder of a company called Joburg, a few years old. They have wonderful South African products and they're growing and growing in the United States. So welcome, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you very much for hosting. Tell us about different kinds of products that you make. We have three different kinds of products. We have a um, a fresh product that's in the freezer that's a South African recipe. It's got collagen casing, low salt, high protein, and a very healthy alternative. We also have a cooked sausage that's gluten-free, available in the fridge. We have three different flavors, and then we have a dried beef product, which is low salt, high in protein, great for travel, and it says all South African flavors and South African recipes. You know, you have a great product, and I'm just smelling it as it's being made in front of our eye. Wow, it's very tender. I haven't tasted it. It's delicious. South African fruit is special, and you've introduced it. You made some real marks in the kosher market. I yeah. think one of the first South African products, right? Correct. We are. We are, and we're in about 100 locations around the U.S., and uh, we are growing, and we're very excited about the marketplace. Now... I'm, I'm glad we have you on, not because you all have quality products and I enjoy yeah. your product, but you're doing a, a big mitz or you're donating part of the proceeds of your company to help a young lady. Tell us about what happened, a tragic sure. story that you volunteered and step up to the plate. Okay, so the story is this young lady, Orly, who lives in Jacksonville, Florida, was at Michlelet with my daughter, a roommate, and Erev Yom Kippur, her and her mom were walking to shul. Unfortunately, they got hit by a car. Her mother was, uh, was killed. Her, she, her dad died when she was four. She's basically orphaned in tremendous financial difficulty. My daughter was devastated. So what we've done is we've actually launched a 12-month campaign to help Orly to raise money to get her back on her feet. Any proceeds from product that's bought in the stores or bought through our website, 
percentage of the proceeds will go directly back to Orly. Very excited about that, being able to help her. It's a great cause. Everyone has to eat. If you eat our products, money goes to Orly, and that's an important thing. So we're not asking you for anything additional. We're just asking you to basically help a great chesed and a great cause. No, thank you for me up to the play because my kids are familiar with the with with the tragic story yeah. and it's just so sad and the fact that you're helping out and making a very big difference. Yeah, so thank you for thank that. Thank you, thank you. Now we we really feel that's the least that we could do and we actually uh, have had a great response to it and we uh, we're very glad to help. It's great to be able to do something for her and we uh, we, we look forward to uh, raising lots of money for her. Thank you. Is Joburg stand for Johannesburg? Is that Joburg short? Joburg is short for Johannesburg, hence where my accent's from. And uh, we've been in America for 15 years. We love it. But we're still South African at heart. We can never and take it. haven't lost your accent either. No, South African gets stronger and stronger. So whether everyone understands me, I'm not sure. But we're very, very proud of being South African. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Effie Landsberg joins Executive Vice President Geffen Fine Fruits. Effie, good to have you on our program. Thanks for stopping by, Zev. Always a pleasure. The $64,000 question. We have, thank God, a lot of kosher food companies. What makes Geffen unique in the kosher marketplace? Why should I say the regular market, food marketplace? Well, what we try to do is we set out to bring the highest quality product available to the kosher consumer. And we could start off with many different products. For example, we can use our hearts of palm. Our hearts of palm we grow in Ecuador. Ecuador is known for rich volcanic ash. That leads to a firmer texture of a hearts of palm. Uh, we also have our hearts of palm cultivated as opposed to wild grown. So again, you get a better product coming through, and that's really what we do. That's just one example of many that we do. Our pasta sauces, another well-known product that we have, all made from old world recipes by a little boutique manufacturer brought over from the old world. What would you say is the best-selling Geffen item? Oh, I can't give you one best-selling. Give me there, a couple. Okay, there, there you don't are, want to discriminate, there are, I know. There are many, there are many, from our, heart, from our hearts to palm to our cup of soups, which are no MSG, fat-free varieties, uh, straight through to our marinara sauces, pizza sauces. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to choose one, Zev, when you have so many children, right? <laughs> How many products would you say that you manufacture? Approximately. I know it's hard because you're always coming with something new. Right? Every day there's something new on the marketplace from Geffen. La Havdal, La Havdal, the stars and the sands, Zev. I can't count them. Terrific. Effie, keep up the wonderful work. Geffen is a great company, great products. Make sure you check it out. It's available throughout the world. Throughout the world. Global today, Zev. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. Who doesn't know gold, gold, horseradish, and other fine products? Mark Cole joins us. He is the president of the company, and his grandfather started in 1932 in Brooklyn. Right. It was started by my grandparents, grandfather and grandmother. She ground the horseradish that was Tilly Gold, and my grandfather, Hyman, put it into the bottles, spooned it into the bottles. Bottles just like this. Same bottle. And what he, he sold out to push carts? And he, he didn't sell it to push carts, but he spooned it into the bottles. They put labels on the bottles. And he said in push carts, he sold it to stores. He didn't sell it off the push cart. He was not a peddler. He was a businessman. He went to stores throughout Brooklyn, two or three bottles at a time, keep it fresh. You had to keep it fresh. Buy two bottles, come back next week, two bottles more. That's how they started in 1932. The wow. key was fresh, the same jar that we're using now. But you've ex company has expanded. You don't only just sell horse route. You have borscht. I love your borscht, by the way. You have uh, duck sauces. You also have wasabi. Right. We have wasabi. That's this item right over here. Wasabi sauce is one of the newer items. We make various borscht. The most unique is a cabbage borscht, which is astounding. Don't you have yeah. the Hungarian cabbage? The Hungarian cabbage borscht, which is just an unbelievable borscht. Heat it up. Yeah, a, a jar of a jar of it would cost two dollars. Two dollars. Get two meals in it. Where this is what the borscht looks like. This is, the, it's Hungarian cabbage. Can you imagine? For two dollars and fifty cents, two meals are in here. It's unbelievable. That's the newest thing, and this is a recipe that was created by my grandmother that we found in the archives, and we recreated the item. What other new items are on the working boards right now? I know you have also, I love, by the way, your horseradish ketchup. We have a, a horseradish ketchup, which is a great item. Our newest item, though, is, get this, a reduced sodium mustard. Where is that? Where is that reduced sodium mustard? We have it right over here. Whoops. It's a New York deli mustard. Now, this mustard, Zev, if you take a look at this, you see how that, you see the thickness, you see the great mustard seed in there? 
It's got reduced sodium. You don't even notice that it's reduced sodium. It tastes so great. You put this on a hot dog, you put it on a pastrami sandwich, does amazing things to it, and low sodium. Unbelievable. Final question is that you're one of the few kosher companies that has the uh, goes back where you had family owned, family continue to run. Are your children also in the business? I am third generation. Next generation is my son Sean, my niece Melissa are the next generation. So Golds is going on and on and on. Wonderful. And keep on that great tradition. It's been a year since we had you on. Good to have you back thank again. You, Good to see Mark Gold, thank you for joining us. Shalom Halpin, Director of Marketing at AMB Fish, one of my favorite companies. And Good to see you at Kosher Fest, and AMB is the name to watch. So good to have you back, Shalom. Zev keeps on coming back every year, telling us that he's been around the world, <laughs> all over the kosher marketplace, trying to find a better gefilte fish than AMB. Somehow, he's always come back to AMB, saying AMB has is the best and always is. Shalom and I have been talking about because the gefilte fish is delicious, and AMB's fish has revolutionized the industry. Boy, you used to buy it out of jars, and now you can buy it frozen, where you could make it. It's almost like your my grandmother used to make it. But some people haven't really had the chance. They think of the gefilte fish as the glass age when it's really a whole different animal, no pun intended. So how do we get the word out there for people that people who have not tried gefilte fish in many years or have never tried it, that this is a different gefilte fish than what they had in the young days or maybe never experienced? Now that Zev has mentioned the jarred gefilte fish, let me just say jarred gefilte fish is the mother of all compromises to the real old-fashioned gefilte fish the way grandma made it. And real gefilte fish means made from scratch at home. But to cut down on all the work, coming up with A&B's fresh, frozen, 100% natural, no preservatives, no chemicals, no getting rid of the gel, no redoctoring. Gefilte fish from A&B has now become very popular, even for people who don't seem to need to have it as a tradition. Well, it's, it's the unsushi, but it could be take the place of sushi, right? Uh, well, actually, people have experimented by using gefilte fish and wrapping the sushi around the gefilte fish and making a <laughs> sushi gefilte fish, you know. But certainly, A and B. Now, how many kinds of gefilte fish do you make? There's a regular sweet A and B. There's a Hungarian. There's a salmon gefilte fish, a sugar-free, a low cholesterol, a low carb. And what's recently becoming very popular is gluten-free gefilte fish. And people should know that the A and B salmon gefilte fish comes gluten-free. People take the salmon gefilte fish, cut it up into slices while still raw, dip it in whipped egg and breadcrumbs, and make a delicious gefilte salmon cutlet. Eat it cold with a little mayonnaise and a little lemon juice. It's absolutely delicious. Now, Zev looks like his mouth is watering just from the recipe. No, it sounds good. And you listen, you put a little good crane on it, and you have chai left, right? Which right, means yeah. great experience. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Zev. Shalom, look forward. A and B Fish is the name to remember. Good fellow us. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed our very special broadcast originating from the 25th annual Kosher Fest held in the Meadowlands. Join us again next week, same time, same station here on the Talkline Communications Network. I'm Zev Brenner. Shalom.